Hello guys, we're all about one here, back at you with another episode of Road to the King. A new series on my channel where I am going to be going up the ladder, uh, just turning, let's turn down the volume a bit, uh, going up the ladder of the ranked system in Duel Links to get, to hopefully get to the King of Games at some point. So, this is a series that I just wanted to do for fun. Um, it's something nice to do on the side, something Duel Links related, which I really enjoy. Like, Duel Links is a fun side game to play, so Roach the King was the best uh, best thing I could actually come up with that would be fun. So, <clears throat> we're going to do about three, maybe four duels of uh, Duel Links in Ranked, and then we're going to have some fun with that, just so we can see if we can rank up again, if we can get higher in the tiers, just to see if we can get to that next level, of maybe even getting back to Legendary. Um, because I was bumped down last season, so what are you going to do? But come on, let's get to the king, because I actually want to, I actually want to get to the king, see where we can go. Uh, we got some, uh, we got some maintenance notices here. That's not what we're after, what we're after, those guys. Um, so we'll go to the side real quick. As you can see, I haven't really played it today. Uh, we are just going to go straight into a duel. Don't save time, guys. Just go straight into the duel so we can uh, get dueling. Um, as you know, guys may know from the last episodes, I am playing Glad Beasts on here. I do want to play other decks as well. Um, I kind of want to get Asta Phoenix to max rank so I can try Destiny Heroes as well because Destiny Heroes seem pretty fun. They're pretty interesting. Um, <clears throat> Plus, with the addition of Vion, it gives you the ability to send Malicious, plus add Polymerization, which means you can use the Fusion attribute of the deck as well, which I really like in it as well, in my opinion, because it just seems really fun. So, we're going second, and oh no. I forgot to change my character, guys. This is going to be fun. <laughs> um, well, we're playing Heroes. I didn't intend for this. But I guess a fun accidents in the middle of a game can be interesting. We're playing against Ancient Gears, alright. Okay. Summons Ancient Gears Soldier. I mean, Ancient Gear Knight? Or Ancient Gear Soldier? Oh, we drew Woodsman. Okay, that just instantly gets us over this guy. Um, so... Ancient Gear Knight. Well, I feel we're just going to straight up polymerization. polymerization. Summoning Terra Firma. Like, I completely mucked up on this, guys, not going to lie. But we drew a good hand to start off with, so it's fine. This is like a side deck that I like to play in uh, non ranked, so it's kind of cool. Now let's summon us Terra Firma, the Earth itself. Uh, we'll normal summon our elemental hero heat. I summon a monster in attack position. Um, we're also going to set two cards. I throw down a face down. I throw down a face down. And we're going to attack. Let's battle. So goodbye, knight. Terra firma attacks. Uh, Earth impact. And we're going to attack no. directly. My monster uh, attacks you. The thing I like about heroes oh, is that. It's just a basic beatdown deck in this in this game, and as soon as I started it, I, f I got heroes instantaneously because they're just a really fun deck to play on here, and that's kind of the reasons why I want to get uh, Destiny Heroes as well, because it's a fun deck to play. So he's going to summon Ancient Gear Golem. Now, he's entered the battle phase, so I'm just going to straight up Impenetrable Attack on my Terra Firma, because I, if I draw a hero monster, um, I instantly get over the Ancient Gear Golem. So, make it so Terra Firma can't be destroyed. There we go. Here goes nothing. My monster now we just hopefully draw a hero monster, and then we get over the Ancient Gear Golem. Haven't beat me yet. I'm done with my turn. And like all of my hero oh, monsters yeah. get me over Ancient Gear Golem, it's so draw. draw, and we drew a heat. That that's actually really good. Uh, we're going to activate our skill. Actually, no, we don't need to tribute my monster, actually, do we? Um, okay, so actually we get over Ancient Gear Golem and we just win this turn. Because of, of the skill to bring Skyscraper on the board, we actually just get to go straight for game. 
That's that's actually pretty cool. So we attack. We're going down. I attack with my monster. Okay. And then it's just game for us. We win. <laughs> this unfor this accident actually turned into a win. Direct attack. That's pretty cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, that's that's a little uh, accident that turned out pretty good, I guess. Seeing as we got to use heroes in this duel. Um, one of my more favorite decks of the entire Yu-Gi-Oh game, which is really cool. So, uh, let's go back. Let's switch to the actual ranked deck, so I don't lose <laughs> horribly. Ooh, we get a glossy normal ticket next. Uh, so we're just gonna go straight, straight to the home. Change out of Jaden. My heroes are ready to throw down. And change into our Miss Alexis Rhodes. Anytime, anywhere. I just love how that unfortunate accident turned into a win. It's actually funny. <clears throat> but yeah, let's play some Glad Beasts next. Because we want to win us some duels. But yeah, guys, it's always fun to play um, Duel Links, to be honest. Just because Duel Links is like that little side side game that you play, like I play, um, it really does give me enjoyment. Hopefully we'll get to rank up this time. Come on, let's rank up. Come on, let's rank up. Oh, it's not a rank up game. Oh well. A duel we should get a rank up game sooner or later. This is going to Mind scan. I can't remember. I don't actually know what mind scan does. I assume it lets them see my hand. It's my turn. So we're going to set. I'm setting a card. We're going to set. I set a card. And we're going to normal you. How about this? So, Pegasus, what you got for me? What do you got for me, Mr. Pegasus, Maximilian? Something I like to do while I'm waiting for my opponent is just tap the unused monster zones. It keeps me busy. <laughs> um, oh, he's just gonna set. Okay. Okay. Is that it? Okay, interesting. Uh, so we're gonna draw a turn. So we will normal summon our Laquari. Set enemy controller. And battle. So the quarry will attack the set. Um, it Your could be a Mania bug, but I've got two on board, so it's fine. Um, the only thing that I could be scared of is the level 4 insects card that destroys all level 4 monsters, but that's... Oh, I'm okay. Oh, it's... Oh, he's gonna banish the quarry, okay. So we're going to attack directly. Go on. Um... Oh, wait, that doesn't stop me... Like, I'm still going to do damage, though, so that doesn't really matter to me. So, sure, you can survive on without taking any damage, but I'm still going to get to tag out. Um, I think I'll, I'll, I'll summon Big Bird here. Uh, uh, for those guys who didn't watch the last episode, um, Augustus, uh, which I also like to call Augustus Gloop or Big Bird, um, because I don't really want to hard draw it. And hard drawing it can be a very bad draw. It can be very bad just because he's the highest level monster in my deck, and I never want to see him in my hand. That's why he's only a one of in this build. Um, but yeah, so he's doing stuff. Let's see what you got for me, Mister Pegasus. Um, something I might try to build is zombies as well. It seems interesting to me. Uh, so he's going to summon his. Annoying Electro Monster, which will allow him to basically cancel out any of my sets. Question is, which one? Oh, so he wants to stop the impenetrable call. Um, he doesn't have anything to stop my attack, though. Hmm. It's my turn. Interesting. Uh, so we drew enemy controller. Uh, we don't really have anything to do with it, so we're just going to attack. Time for battle. So twenty-six. I feel like him using Pendulum Impenetrable now was the wrong play. Just as I, um, I see why you're doing that now. Um, mm. uh, I feel like it was the wrong play just because if he kept it, 
then he would be able to protect his electrode, his electro more. So it, it just say, it seems like the wrong play to me. But he might have a he might have a plan later on down the line. So I can't really judge. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, he's probably going to target the middle one this time because he knows what that is. Yeah. All right. Well now, I summon a monster in attack position. So he summoned. What's this? Uh, this card. Okay. Down. Let's battle. Sure. Prepare yourself. Uh... My monster attacks. I don't feel like I need to enemy control here. Prepare yourself. Okay, I will take my 16. Uh, no way. Yep. Here I go. My turn. My turn. I draw. So we drew the quarry. That's actually very, very good. Uh, so we're going to normal the quarry. Now, we need to get rid of the Electro, because it's currently dealing, stopping us from using our set cards, so we're going to go straight into go. battle with that Let's Electro. Alright. We hopefully monster. can't stop the attack, exactly and that's off. something I didn't want to see, but we can down. use any controller, which will I instantly will take damage, I um, but it will get rid of the Electro, because then we are able to summon our fish. So... That is actually the better play to do here. Because it gets us... Sure, we still take the 300, and um, the quarry is going to be decreased still, but we're going to be able to tag out the quarry, summon out uh, the fish, and then the fish is going to then be able to destroy the Electro, um, giving us access to our set cards again. I activate my effect. Which is really what we need right now, because... Uh, we don't really have a lot of other options, so we're going to summon our Mamilio, or as I call it, Fish. Here I go. I special summon and monster. he is I instantly just going to kill the Electro. Because that is the big problem on the board right now. Um, so now we have access to our set I cards like again, which turn. is very, very Time good and very powerful. So, okay. So he's gonna set one. That's cool. Oh, he's tribute summoning. Um. Okay. Um, I'm going. Uh, he, he can get the draw. I'm just gonna protect fish. So we'll target him. Sure. Alright, so now we're going to tag Keep out into right a bestiary to get rid of the set card because we don't know what it could be, it could be a big problem. So, summon bestiary. Then we destroy his set card. Alright, so now here comes the issue. Do I want to get rid of it now, or do I just want to set my cards and be like, no, I'm good? Um, I feel like the better option is to just wait and set the enemy controller and the impenetrable attack, and then just pass turn. Like, there's no real reason to start attacking and wasted resources, because we could eventually, we could either end up attacking into a Spear Karibo, um, we could attack into something awkward like that. And even if we do kill the uh, Air Knight Pearl Shaft, there's no guarantee that we're going to be able to win. <clears throat> so I feel like the better option is just this. Just going to end his turn. Sure. So we drew in Penetral back attack. That doesn't really help us, um, to be honest with you, but we can just end our turn and be fine. Alright. Now the question is, what does he? What is he going to do? Um, he's drawn a card. He's drawn a card, but we, like, we need to start drawing our glad beasts. To be honest. 
Because if we don't start drawing our glad beasts, we won't be able to play. Alright, so he summons this. Uh, sure. Okay, so he drew Dimakiri. Um, we just... Dimakari. We're just going to instantly normal summon it and pass. No reason to do anything else at this point. Alright. And I know we're at a disadvantage right now because of our life points, but with the set cards we have, we're completely fine. Okay. Draw for turn. And we drew a glad beast. That's exactly what we wanted. Because <clears throat> now we can uh, go into our fusion. So, we're instantly just going to fusion summon this into our Nero Nerokius, which is essentially an Armides, which means we can get over his entire bank from having to care, as long as it's not like an enemy controller or something. What's this? Uh, floodgate. Um, it's a problem, but we don't really care. So, we just end turn there. Uh, we can't do anything else. And there's no, there's no way he's going to attack the um, glad beast, so... You don't have to worry. I should probably try getting another one of these Nero Kios. Um, I might, this might be something I have to start opening packs for. Okay, draw. A bestiari. Um, we're just going to normal the bestiari. And... What in turn? Like, the good thing about this deck is that you can't deck out in it because you can just constantly fusion summon, so... I don't really care what he has. Just about to end his turn, okay? Sure. Now, here's where I'm going to just tag out again. Because we want to get this back in the extra deck, so then we are able to fusion summon it back. So we're going to tag out. Using here and the set. And we'll summon this to the floor. I'll play this. I special summon a monster. Like, if he wants to use another floodgate, then he can, but there's really no need. Um. Uh, I end my turn. Now, he's still got two set cards, but if we don't draw another glad beast, we're not going to be able to play the game. So, hopefully, we can get to a glad beast. Okay. Like, he's probably realizing that I'm not going to be able to deck out at this point. <laughs> which is really what his deck wants to do. So, and we drew another Damakiri. We do Damakiri. So, we are going to instantly normal him. He will probably try to Floodgate if he has it. But again, I don't really care because I can just get to this point again. And he's probably not going to attack just because of all my set cards. So we will summon you. How about this? I special summon a monster. And he doesn't have anything to stop me, so Time we're going to battle. battle. So what are you gonna do? We're going to straight off attack his monster his partial. I attack with a monster. And it's an Armide, so all of his trap cards are irrelevant. Alrighty. Oh, you haven't me yet. And then in turn. And we will decontact here just so we can clear his back row because we can summon two bestiaries. Oh, Divine Wrath. I flip over my face down card. That's a problem. Ah, I end my turn. Hmm. 
your mind is an open book. It's fine, we, we have a majority of trip monsters in our deck, so I don't really have to care. Um, but that is a bit of a problem there. I'm not going to lie. I did not anticipate Divine Wrath. Uh, cool. We'll just activate Impenetrable Attack here. Sure. Oh, he's going to switch that to defense? Well, I'm going to use Impenetrable Attack anyway. Uh, Impenetrable Attack? We're not taking a single point of damage this turn. Alrighty. Draw for turn. Mirror wall, that's not what we wanted to see, but it is fine. Set one. And in turn. Like, as long as we have impenetrable attack, we're fine. Hmm. Alright. Take this. My monster attacks your life points directly. Like there's no right need to let your pig attack pigs attack hit me. My face down card. My trap activates. I will take nothing, sir. So hopefully now we draw a glad beast. Um if we don't, we're not gonna be in good of a good position. There we go, Damakiri, just what we needed. So now we just go back to the position where we just normal summon and continue normal summoning. And if he wants to crash his Amazonist, he can, I'm not going to stop him. Like, 100 damage isn't going to do much right now. So... We're currently back into the position we were before, where we we have we both have a ton of resources, but we're not going to hit each other because if we do, we could just potentially lose. So it's just a grind game at this point. Um, I would say he's in a better position though, just because he's got more monsters. But as long as I've got uh, this wall of destruction and mirror wall down, I, I should be safe. Enemy controller. Um. Sure. Oh, you. Sure. Um, that's fine. Like, this forces me to use Wall of Destruction, so. I will not. I, will, I have to use Wolf Destruction here. I, I, I can't not. I have to. I flip over my face down card. My trap activates. Like, I honestly just can't not do it, because if I don't do it, I'm gonna lose. So we have to. You're actually playing that card? No. I refuse to lose. Okay, we draw. We drew a Damakiri. We're going to normal summon. Now, I don't really care what his set card is anymore, so we're just going to attack. So we're going to attack straight into the Amazonist, because we will take no damage, and they will both not die. Because zero attack points can't kill each other. Okay. He wants to stop the attack. Completely fair. Activates. Completely fair. Um. Yep. Here's where I will. Hmm. I just end her. I just have to end turn. Nothing else I can do. I set a card. 
Yep. I'd like you to meet my monster. What do you do? I summon a monster in attack position. Sure. Time to battle. Yep. Prepare yourself. I yeah, you that's not monster. happening. Uh, we're going to flip enemy controller. You're about to pay. I flip over my face down card. And we're going I to a quick play spell. tribute our Damakiri to take your Amazonus. Okay. Now the question is, what is he going to do? Just gonna end his turn. Cool. Uh, we draw. We draw a Liquari, but that doesn't help us. Um, I would say we just have to attack into his monsters and get rid of that Amazonas. Like, there's literally nothing else we can do. Okay. Just as I expected. I'm fine with you great gaining some life points. <laughs> Honestly, there's no need. I, I really I don't face. care if you gain some life points. I've just got to deal with the Amazonas. Alright. There we go. Cool. Oh. Just as I expected. My monster's effect activates. Ooh. I kind of messed of time, up. So by all means, think your strategy mm. through. Not that it'll make any difference. That divine wrath really set oh, up this game. Is an open book to me. Yeah, we just lose here now because we can't stop the Amazon Swordwoman. That's that's the biggest problem. Like. Because we can't stop the Amazon Swordwoman, we're just going he's just going to attack us and we're not going to be able to do anything to stop him. And I will take all the damage. That that's the uh, that's a big problem. Well, we did try. Um The Divine Wrath is clearly the card that ended the game. And it really was the thing that really just made us lose. So there's nothing I can really do to say otherwise, but, like, you can't do anything about it, which is a problem, but at least we tried, I have to say, like, it's not like he had the oh, he had the most powerful board ever, it's just the fact that he has the Amazon, Amazon Sword Woman in his deck, and I can't really do anything to stop it, um, but yeah. We lose because of uh, Amazonist Swordswoman. Um, if it wasn't for the Divine Wrath, I feel like we would have won that game. Because we would have been able to summon two monsters, we would have popped his two set cards, and we would have been just completely fine. But because we couldn't, um, it really ended up with us losing. But whatever, it's, it's the game. <laughs> it's the game we play. Um, but yeah, we'll have uh, one more one more duel, I'd say, maybe two, um, depending on how this next one goes, because if it's really short, I feel like having another one might be justified, but uh, of course, there are games where you win and you lose, so <laughs> what are you going to do? But hopefully we can win this game and it, obviously get, gain some ranking, because hopefully in this video I want us to rank up. Uh, I would like us to rank up, but... Clearly there is no guarantee of that, so hopefully we can. Hopefully we can. Like there's nothing saying we can't. But we're up against Aster Phoenix. Alright. And he's playing the Destiny Hero deck? Interesting. Well I don't he probably isn't actually playing the Destiny Hero deck. Okay, so sits two pass. Hmm. Honestly, do not care what his set card is, so Here I go. normal summon you. I summon a monster in attack position. Set impenetrable. Set enemy controller. Battle. Here I go. Let's 
Battle. And attack set. How's this? I attack that with a monster. Enemy controller, alright. Here's my face down card. I activate a quick one. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to pass down from there then. You see what? I'm a pro. Cool. I draw. What is he going to do? Um, like, there's so many options for what he could actually do. Well, it, well, obviously there are options that he could do, but I don't really know them, so I can't really say anything like that. He could flip his monster, he could be playing Glad Beast, he could be playing pretty much anything. No, he is playing Destiny Heroes. Okay. Interesting. So he is playing Destiny Heroes, that's actually quite interesting. But we're going to activate our Pendulum Impenetrable Attack. Uh, and we are not going to let my Damakiri, Damakari destroy, be destroyed, so... Protected. I'm, I'm curious what that set monster is now. Because... It could, depending on what that is, it really depends on how he's playing the game, because if he really wanted to protect it, then it could be something really valuable, but if not, then it's just a random defense. Like, it's interesting to see. But it's cool to see someone actually playing Destiny Heroes right now. Like, this, I, I actually at some point want to play them, I just need to get, to get the maliciouses, so... Hopefully at some point we'll be able to I'll be able to feature it on this series. Alrighty, so we're gonna destroy your decider. Cannot let you be decided in this game. I'm ending my turn. You ready? It's my turn. And then we draw. That's a really nice draw wall of disruption. Like, whenever you draw it and you have open spaces, you just want to instantly slap it down, which is really, always really nice. So we're just going to attack your set monster. So he was playing this one, cool. Uh, let's just read it real quick. Uh, if a Destiny Hero monster you control, that was really quick. Alright. Then turn. The quarry is going to tag out, and most people here would normally summon um, uh, the quarry, but we are going to summon Damakiri, um, just because he gives us double attacks, and if he can't stop us, then next turn we can just be like, oh, attack, attack, game, which is obviously the play we want to do because we want to win. Um, but yeah, let's. Okay, so we've got Dark City now, so obviously you can do what I did in, game, in our first duel. Um, we'll let him enter the battle phase before doing anything. Okay. Sure. So this destroys base up spell trick cards. Yeah, base up. Cool. Oh, he's just going to end his turn. Alright, um... Hmm... If he's just ending his turn, I don't really trust what he has done. So, we're going to Normal Summon Bestiari, and we're just going to Contact. So, we'll summon you, 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 and you. Alrighty. So, now his back row is pretty much irrelevant, unless he has enemy control. So we'll attack. You're finished. I attack with a monster. Yep. He's going to be able to get two draws out of this as well, which is kind of upsetting. If he, but it's fine nonetheless. We're going to be able to pop two of his cards anyway. I activate my monster's effect. So tag out, summon a Bestiari and a Bestiari. Two Bestiaris will work. We'll be able to pop both his set cards. All right. I activate my monster's effect. So now he's just going to be left with pretty much only the Dark City. I activate my monster's effect. And this one. Uh... I end my turn. My fate isn't finished yet. All right. I draw. 
Now, okay, so now he's gonna get his two drills. Cool. Sure. It's absolutely fine. And he ends his turn. Cool. Time to wrap up. My turn. I'm going to and we draw Domakiri again, so all I'm going to really do here is just make the uh, contact fusion again and <clears throat> just so we can do what we did again because if either of those trap cards, either of those set cards are able to get around any of our monsters, then we could potentially lose. So. Uh, I would prefer to go for the safer option than the option that can lead us to even loss. Come on out. I special summon a so, do you have anything to stop this? Enemy controller? That's cool. I my like, it doesn't really do anything to us, it hinders us for a turn, but that's pretty much it. Sure. Okay. I so, I draw. what will you have for us next? I'm setting a monster. Okay. That gives him protection from an attack, at least. Time to battle. Go. Battle? Why are you attacking? My monster attacks. Oh, I know why he's attacking because he wants to get some piercing damage in. Yeah, that's fine. No reason to stop that. No way. But I suppose what I could have done was this War of Disruption. He would have been left on 300 life points, uh, no, 400 life points, but I'd prefer to keep it. Um, yeah, we'll tag out here. Because right that lets us get rid of both his um, set card and his, uh, hmm, and his uh, draw up. All right. How about this? I special. You're about to pay. Cool. So Mamelio is going to pop your drill duck. Uh, uh, uh. And PCR will pop your set. I activate my monsters effect. Cool. I reveal my face. Enemy controller. That's fine. I activate a quick play spell. Eh, it doesn't really do anything. It just means you're wasting. It just means you're wasting both our time, to be honest. Um. Okay. You're getting no mercy from me. Draw turn. Draw. And we draw. We just keep drawing Domakiri. So we're going to normal this. And we will just to be safe contact fusion. Because depending, because that monster could be a very heavy, uh, heavy have a big defense. So. Contact fusioning just is it guarantees that we're not going to attack into something too big. So attack. You're finished. I attack with my monster. All right. My give me your strength. I special summon a monster. Well, we're going to kill that. I attack with my monster. And then we'll get it into. And we're going to do contact into our effect. fish. I'll play this. Okay. I special summon a monster. I activate my monster's effect. So, kill the destiny hero. It didn't work. I no, it did work. My cool. My fate isn't finished yet. I draw. So, Here comes destiny. oh, he drew drill dark. Cool. Um, I feel like just enemy controlling that is fine. But we have to see what he's got first. Time to battle. But is it equal or more? Go, drill dark. Yeah, Fear we're going stop. to wall of disruption here. Because he'll lose the eight. Because of this is essentially his him losing the My game if we do it. Activate. So now he loses pretty much. There's no way he can win. My monstrous effect activates. Oh, he's going to use Dreamer. Okay. Come on out. But that doesn't stop him from dying, I though. So I don't get... Monster. Oh, no, it protects his life points. But he still loses, so I don't see the point of that. 
Okay, so we're gonna draw the quarry. That's pretty good. We're just gonna normal the quarry, and we're going to attack with our gladiator beast fusion. Okay, like I don't see how he could stop stop himself losing that, and that's game. But yeah, um, those were our duels, guys. Um, Road to the King. Uh, actually, you know what? I feel like if we have one more, we might rank up. So, we'll play one more duel. Just one. And then, hopefully that will get us to the point where we rank up. Because I do want to rank up in this video. Uh, <clears throat> so, we'll have one more search. In s just to see if we can get that one more victory. And hopefully get that rank up that we so want. Because we want to get to that next level. <coughs> and become the next King of Games. <laughs> but yeah. So this will be our last duel. And it's against the Merrick Duelist. Okay. Sadly it's not a rank up. Dang it. But that is fine. This is definitely our last one, though. Okay, so he wants to have more life points. So... He starts with 55, but has three cards, that's fine. The darkness grows hungry. Okay, Yami Merrick, the darkness will grow hungry. Just give it a minute. Uh, so we're going to set you... Normal summon Domakiri. And in turn. What you got for me, Yami Merrick? Draw. This this music. <laughs> uh, oh, it's a Cyberstein deck. Oh, okay, I see why he wanted it then. So he uses Cyberstein, pays five thousand life points. Like this is pretty much a dead game then. Uh, so he gains eight hundred life. Oh, so this is just a boosting deck. Okay. Um, sure. We're just going to instantly a pendulum attack. So, Domakiri won't die. <laughs> cool. Now we take huge damage, but we're not dead. Then we just swap out Domakiri. Um, and we summon out fish to kill the blue eyes. All right. So, we kill the blue eyes. I don't know how we can win now. <laughs> like, I think actually we win. So, yeah, we're just gonna... Like, just to be safe, we're going to set the enemy controller. But, I don't think there's any way you can actually survive to it now. Yeah, it's just free up game. Um, yeah, that was a bit too easy. Um, alright. But, yeah guys, I did say that was going to be the last game. We did win it. It was surprisingly very easy. Um, and yeah, but, so guys, this has been the video. Um, tell me what you think of Road to the King in the comment section below. Tell me if you enjoy watching these dueling stalls. Tell me if you don't enjoy them. Tell me if you kind of bored with it or if you just want to see if you, if you want to see more of it like personally i enjoy doing these videos uh the, this new series because it's something else it's something different to the actual Yu-Gi-Oh card game and it's the same at the same time as you -Oh, it's the Yu-Gi-Oh card game itself so hopefully you guys enjoyed it hopefully you want to see more tell me what you think of that in the conversation below if you liked the video make sure to like the video if you also want to see more you give videos subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh videos and it, pre make sure to press the notification button as well to be notified of said Yu-Gi-Oh videos but yeah guys that's the video we won four, three out of the four games it was fun it was um really enjoyable and we even had that little muck up at the beginning and played some elemental heroes and it still won that match uh that game but yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more YouTube videos. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Door Links, Road to the King, will be there soon. We'll be the King of Games in no time. Bye guys.